Thank you for watching this instructional video for the DSM-101N Digital Multimeter with Environmental Testers. Let's take a look at the features of this meter. This meter is capable of taking all the electrical measurements you'd expect in a good multimeter. But it also features a selection of environmental tests, making the DSM-101N a highly versatile tool. Let's start with the electrical measurements. To measure voltage, move the rotary switch to the voltage position. The default mode is DC voltage. If you need to switch to AC voltage, press the select button and the meter will switch to AC voltage. To switch back to DC voltage, press select again. Insert the red test lead into the voltage jack and the black lead into the comm jack and the meter is ready to measure voltage. Switching to resistance, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position shown here. The default mode is resistance. So as soon as you insert the test leads into the ohm and comm jacks, you're ready to measure resistance. If you press select while in resistance mode, the meter will switch to diode mode. With the test leads in the diode and comm jacks, connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test and the meter will show its forward biased voltage drop. Pressing select while in diode mode will move the meter into continuity mode. After inserting the test leads into the ohms and comm jacks, the meter is ready to test the continuity of your circuit. If the meter measures a resistance of less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. To enter capacitance mode, press select while in continuity mode. Insert the test leads into the capacitance and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The meter is now ready to measure capacitance. To measure current, move the rotary switch to the appropriate current position. For current measurements less than 400 milliamps, move the rotary switch to either the microamp or milliamp position. Insert the red test lead into the microamp milliamp jack and the black lead in the comm jack. Again, this is only for measurements below 400 milliamps. To measure current above 400 milliamp, move the rotary switch to the amp position and move the red test lead to the 10 amp jack. As with voltage, the default mode is DC current. If you need to switch to AC current, press the select button. To switch back to DC current, press select again. Once you've got the rotary switch to the correct position and connected the leads to the correct jacks, you're ready to measure current. The last two electrical measurements are frequency and duty cycle. Move the rotary switch to the Hertz duty position. The default mode is frequency. To switch to duty cycle, press the Hertz duty button. To switch back to frequency, press the Hertz duty button again. Connect the leads to the Hertz and comm jacks and you're ready to measure frequency or duty cycle. Alternatively, in either voltage or current modes, if you press the Hertz duty button during measurement, the display will show the measured frequency. Pressing Hertz Duty again will display the measured duty cycle. Pressing Hertz Duty a third time will return the display to normal measurement. Now let's move on to the environmental tests. In all modes, the upper portion of the display shows the current environmental temperature and relative humidity. The meter's environmental temperature and humidity sensor is located on the top of the meter. For the temperature reading, you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit units by pressing the CF button. To measure temperature with the included type K thermocouple, move the rotary switch to the temp position. To switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit units, press the CF button. Insert the red end of the thermocouple into the temp jack and the black end into the comm jack. Touch the tip of the thermocouple to the surface of the object under test and the meter will show its current temperature. The next environmental test is sound. Move the rotary switch to the decibel position here. 
The meter's microphone is located on the top of the meter. Move the microphone towards the sound source to measure its volume in decibels. The final environmental test is luminance. Move the rotary switch to either the lux or 10 times lux position. The meter's light sensor is located on the top of the meter shown here. The lux position measures up to 10,000 lux of luminance, where the 10 times lux position can measure up to 100,000 lux. Aim the light sensor at the light source to measure the luminance at the sensor. There are a few additional features that apply to multiple modes of the meter. The first is the range function. In voltage, current, and resistance modes, the default mode is auto range. If you want to switch to manual range, press the range button. Each press of the button increases the range and returns to the lowest range when pressed in the highest range. Holding the range button will return to auto range mode. Note, in capacitance mode, auto range is the only mode available. Next is relative measurement. In voltage, current, capacitance, sound and light modes, if you press the relative button, the meter will switch to relative measurement. The meter will take the current reading and compare it to the recorded value when the button was pushed. The display will show the difference between these two readings. To return to normal measurement, press the relative button again. In any mode, if you want to keep the current reading on the display, press the hold black light button and the current measurement will be held. To release the hold, press the hold black light button again. Finally, the meter has a backlight that can be used to see in dark environments. Hold the hold back light button and the backlight will turn on. To turn the backlight off, hold the hold backlight button again. Thank you for watching this instructional video for the DSM-101N. For more information on this and all our other products, visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.